Hello lovely English learners, welcome back to another episode of This English Malarkey. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Jake and on this channel we chat to people across the UK in English to show you guys just how native speakers communicate with each other. So stick around and subscribe if you think that's something that you'd like to follow. So today we're in the streets of Cambridge and we're going to be asking people about their free time and hobbies. Let's get to it. What do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time I like to hang around with my friends and usually uh, after work we go and uh, have some beers and then uh, uh, maybe we, we go to the cinema mm -hmm. or I've just been today to the uh, ice skating arena. Yeah. There is a new one in Cambridge so I skated. <laughs> it you didn't fun. die. No I didn't. I didn't, I didn't fall either. Good. It oh, was really, really good. <laughs> What do you do in your free time? Um, tend to, there's quite a few nice uh, pubs and clubs in Cambridge, so we like to like to go for a pint every now and again. Um, on a Monday and a Tuesday I actually play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, nice. so that's a really cool way of uh, sort of getting together and sort of escaping everyday life. Um, and then just walk through town, things like that. Very it's really nice. cool. Yeah. And Cambridge is a lovely place to do so as Yeah, well. definitely. I think a lot of people can take it for granted when they've lived here for quite a long time, but it's an amazing place, especially for tourists and people that you're sort of sending out this video for so yeah it'd be really cool. Um, in my free time I horse ride a lot um, I also play the violin um, so I play in orchestras and quartets and I used to sing in a choir. Cool very nice. Yeah. Um, I'm fond of doing karate so I do karate a bit in my free time and then also I like to read so yeah not too much but mainly karate. You said that was boring that doesn't sound boring. Well uh, I don't do too much I don't do too much but yeah just just karate but it's good fun okay. but um, sometimes painful I can imagine yes more yeah. for them though than you uh, not always I've had my arm broken before okay. so that wasn't fun um, but apart from that yeah no um, just sometimes a bit of gym as well just to help with karate cool. but um, other than that not really just relaxing because that's uh, that's fun that definitely counts as well it though. does yes cool. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. so what do you do in your free time uh, and I go to university and there is a swimming class I go to and also Sumba okay. and stuff like that. And also um, I, I go to university near Regensburg and there's this big river and we always sit there in the evening and then drink or just meet up. Very yeah. nice. Uh, I act in an amateur theatre company called Boards in Cambridge and help them with social media marketing for their productions, which this year includes Wind in the Willows which is being performed here at the ADC Theatre in December. Very nice, I might have to come check that out. I love the wind in the willows. It's great. Yeah, cool. I enjoy hiking, exploring, usually waterfall trails, uh, swing dancing, so East Coast, West Coast swing, live music, concerts, venues, theatre, the theatre that we're standing we're in front of. We're just outside that theatre, aren't we? What's Absolutely. it called? The ADC Theatre. Okay, yeah. So. I've just been told that Wind in the Willows is playing. It's like a British classic, I think. I think it's British. I haven't heard of that one yet, but I shall check out the British. site. Okay. <laughs> we wouldn't know. American as the day is long. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. And yourself, what are your hobbies? What do you do in your free time? Well, I mostly just do climbing. So actually, it's a, it's a really good time at the moment because it's just going to the Olympics. So it's coming up next year. Uh, went out earlier today, in fact, to the, one of the bouldering gyms in, in Cambridge. I'm uh, really enjoying it. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? Uh, do lots of sports um, and go out and explore. Uh, lovely places such as Cambridge mm -hmm. um, and read and go to the cinema and yeah do all sorts of things really. Very nice. So what kind of sports do you do? I go to the gym quite a bit so I do quite a bit of weightlifting um, and then I also play a bit of football and I do quite a bit of boxing as well. Very nice. So you say you used to sing so have your hobbies changed quite a lot since you were young? Yeah well I finished school last year and my choir was joined on with my school so I stopped. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Thank you very much. That's, that's it. Perfect, Cheers. thank you. Okay. Do you think your hobbies have changed um, since you were younger? Yeah, actually I started doing theatre when I was young. Then I went and had a family and did some work and stuff like that. So I came back to doing some theatre when I'm a bit older. So I'm returning to what I was used to do. Mm, probably. When I was younger, I did a lot of dancing classes and now I don't really do that anymore because um, I don't like doing any courses where I have to go every week. So I just go whenever I have time and don't want to where I have to go. Yep. 
Yeah, makes sense. Oh uh, yeah, so when I was younger, I used to be really into music. So I'd play a lot of guitar and keyboard. But now, with a bit of reduced time, I find I can't learn as well. So instead, I play it just casually, and I find sports just a bit easier to manage. So that's why I've changed to karate. But um, yeah, I mean, I used to read a lot in my spare time as well. But now I got a phone; um, it's a lot easier to waste your time and not read as much. But yes, yeah, yeah. But apart from that, no, not really. I never really did too much. But yeah, all right, that's about it. Thanks very much. Do you think your hobbies have changed since you were younger at all? Me, no, no. Yeah, I like to be outside. Yes. And yourself? I think they've expanded, so the opportunities have increased, especially the more you travel. So living here in Cambridge is different than living in Louisville, Kentucky. So obviously with more access, more things to do, different kinds of people and exposure and venues, absolutely. Um, yes, I would say they have changed because obviously since I'm working, I have more money to spend on my hobbies. <laughs> So do you think your hobbies have changed a bit since you were younger? I mean, you probably weren't drinking when you were too young. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. There's uh, obviously a big change because when you're young, it's all about imagination and things. I think a lot of kids these days are a bit sort of tied up in technology, whereas back in the day, you'd sort of play a bit of manhunt. Or... <laughs> That's loud. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was all mud pies and mud pies and cowboys and robbers and stuff back yeah. in the day but definitely. yeah definitely changes especially when you start working for a living yeah, yeah. <laughs> i understand that and yourself i mean i've been climbing since i was five so mostly just stuck with that for the most part i mean i did a lot of reading when i was younger but like casual reading and now obviously i mostly just read for my university course so not so much casual anymore but quite good fun still nice well thanks very much guys we no appreciate that do you prefer to have your free time alone or with other people no, definitely with other people. I mean, I don't mind uh, sending by myself, but if I want to have fun, I go out with my friends. Oh, great, thank you very much. Bye. Appreciate it. That depends on my mood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think with most people it's the same. Um, some days I'm feeling social, some days not so much. Okay. So. Okay. That's a good That's answer. Good. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for your time. No worries, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. So, do you prefer to do your hobbies or free time with other people or by yourself? I think it depends on the hobby. I like to swim, she likes to hike. I'd prefer to swim with swimmers, if anybody else. <laughs> I tend to prefer group activities, so even when I do group exercise, fitness, body pump, the Les Mills classes, the more the merrier, so a group of people is always desirable. Uh, depends, spend time with my girlfriend, things like that. Um, obviously, again, it's, it's a bit lonely, but if you go to the pub on your own, it can be quite nice, uh, a bit of solitude, uh, but again, it's obviously always cooler with friends. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thanks very much for your time. No Appreciate it. And do you prefer to do your free time with other people or alone? Uh, with other people. I always go with, with my friends. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And where exactly are you from? From Landshut. That's near Munich. She's from Landshut. <laughs> you guys watching from Landshut. I just can't believe it. Amazing. So I'm really glad to meet you. Thank you very much. And so do you prefer to have free time alone or with other people? Generally with other people, yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. a social being, definitely. Very nice. Thank you for your help. That's all. Appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of This English Malaki. Hope you've enjoyed finding out about people's hobbies and free time. Now it's your turn. Tell us what your hobbies are. What do you do in your free time? Thanks again for joining. And remember, you've got this English Malaki.